I like skin. I'm very comfortable with compositions, with body, with flow, with drawing, with uh, colors, with needles. And um, before I started tattooing, uh, many people told me that my art matched to this industry pretty well. And then uh, when I started tattooing, uh, most of my friends and my family, and everyone said like, "Yeah, dude, this uh, fit for you so good." Like, oh, you fit to this industry so good, like, it's basically for you. As an artist, you need to try different media. You need to, you need to, to draw on everything that you can. I have images in my uh, head all the time. When I was a kid, actually, I was watching to the wall and I saw images. I watching to the floor and I, I see images, different images, different characters animals, snakes, everything. So I can see and I can watch, you know, something totally empty and I see images. You have to be an artist first. You can copy other people's art. It's not a big deal today. You go on social media, you can find a few beautiful pieces and you can copy this art and you can think I did that and it's totally fine but it's not that uh, make you an artist you need to develop your art skill first so I took classes in Israel I had a Ukrainian uh, teacher, mentor let's say that and uh, he helped me with uh, studying and the process and understanding of uh, this industry a lot I was looking a couple years to find a good mentor. Again, a good mentor is what is it good, good for you, good for someone else. It's a very abstract, if, but with no success. I spoke with at least 10 different tattoo artists and they're not looking to get any uh, uh, students. They prefer tattoo, they prefer to draw, they prefer to make an art and to teach someone. Uh, there are no schools. Um, Again, maybe in the last couple of years something was open, uh, but I don't know. And uh, usually if you're not good friends of someone uh, who is working already in the shop, uh, it's very hard to get uh, uh, to this industry. So I went to Craigslist and I found the, and I posted a message like I am beginning tattoo artist and I'm looking for people who uh, who are not scaring to be tattooed very bad and here I am and uh, yeah and uh, one lady I think she was uh, like 60 65 she decided to make name of her uh, son or I don't remember who it was and it was in Hebrew and I said, yeah, definitely, I know Hebrew very well, I can design for you even uh, this, uh, this name. And she was very, very happy. And uh, I took my bed and some equipment that I had and I went to her house. It was very poor light and uh, my hands was shaking and uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was a very exciting moment for me. Eventually, the first piece, first tattoo was pretty good. And she sent me some photos later on. We, we changed the contacts and uh, I am, uh, yeah, asked her a couple times how, if she needs retouch later on, everything. It looks pretty good for first piece, but it was funny. Yeah, funny story. <clears throat> I felt uh, very uh, comfortable actually in this industry. Um, I have a lot what to study and uh, to go through, but uh, I definitely feel very uh, comfortable. When I was tattooing my first piece and this uh, uh, lady, uh, <clears throat> immediately I was thinking I'm going into tattoo art. I never work for someone else. So for me, it's very important to work for myself and to be in my world. So I never was thinking to work in some shops and some studios. It's good and bad. You, during the process when you're working alone on your 
or you're working with other tattoo artists, it's a huge difference. I called to the studio um, Ninja Cat because uh, cats uh, as a cat they are cool and in Ninja I have some connections to Japanese martial art. I do Aikido 20 years. It's a huge wave, it's a culture. It's a culture of people who understand and like tattoos. You see it on the West Coast. If you go and call this West Coast like Portland, for example, and Seattle and San Francisco, this culture exists many years, just on the West Coast. But uh, I never saw so many people uh, tattoo it as I saw in Vancouver. And uh, to be honest, only a few cities can, can be can have competition of people and the beauty of this industry. It's a huge industry and it's a beautiful industry. It's good to have different, unique tattoo artists and style on your body. Unique. When you have a gallery, for example, you're not trying to bring, sometimes yes, but you're trying to mix between different artists and gallery to make your exhibition interesting or to make like group exhibition like 10, 15 different uh, artists with, in one gallery, right? And you going from piece to piece and every piece looks great. Sometimes when you have only one um, artist in the gallery and piece became a little bit boring, so you, you know what to expect and uh, you're missing this exhibition. Um, Pretty much the same with the body. If you have only one tattoo artist, it could be a very good tattoo artist, but it became sometimes, you know, boring. I think uh, mo most of tattoo artists were tattooing in different techniques. It seems like uh, maybe it's the same, but you can see Maori style, you can see Asian style, you can see people who is tattooing ornaments. You know, people who is tattooing uh, in the Russian prison style, black work, dot work, line work, realistic work. It's so many different styles. People, the watercolor work, polka style. And some people, they do just calligraphy. And calligraphy is beauty, is aesthetic. It's beauty, is alliance, and uh, just calligraphy. And some people, they do minimalism, like mirror style, few lines and dots, and that's it. They can like your piece. It's, it looks amazing for, for them. But when you, as a tattoo artist, you look into this piece, it's very important that you, like tattoo artist, sh should like that, not only them, because they don't see many things. As musicians, for example, the same. You're playing music on a stage and you, you, you will hear any small uh, yeah, problem around you, like in the crowd. I, many, many times I've asked people, and, yeah, the show and every song was so good. Same here. You see the lines and you're not happy, but people think, yeah, it's a beautiful piece. So you need to grow as a tattoo artist every day. So if you have imagination and you have technique, you have a lot of possibilities. I'm tattooing in my style and it's mostly lines and black work. Uh, so for example, if someone is coming and trying to bring memories and asking me to make a realistic style of this piece, I couldn't how to connect the ideas with my technique. So that's a balance. I always traveling with tablet and even when I'm going to see my friends, I have tablet with me. And the, when the conversation became very interesting, I have my tablet and I'm starting to draw. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like the third hand, like pencil and tablet and sketchbook. I like sketchbook as well, like pencils as well. It's uh, it feels very good when you can draw with pencils. Um, yeah, you need to draw a lot. As tattoo artist, you need to draw every day, many hours. First piece, it's very very important. 
So they are digging more uh, and they are trying to uh, bring some messages behind the first piece. And uh, usually the uh, next pieces it became more about art, but first piece it's... Uh, so you are trying to help and you are trying to understand and sometimes um, uh, you need to find again the balance between what client is looking for, what kind of a piece he is looking or she is looking, or in the, um, to bring something that you understand how uh, their taste could change with time. That's also very important. And you need to explain that. So you kind of trying to say, look a little bit in the future, not only for the message you wanna bring right now, but try to see your body maybe in a few years and how you see that. Some people coming and saying, let's remove this tattoo, or let's cover up, or let's, I don't know what. It's more painful, I think, even that to make tattoo. It's a shorter process, it's more like five minutes uh, you have uh, appointment, but it's very painful and usually you need five, six, seven, eight meetings to remove, yeah. And it's not easy. I'm against very, very young decisions. Not against, but I am saying grow a little bit or maybe not about the grow maybe try to make more researches about the industry art industry and tattoo industry in general and instead to make something trendy because someone did i want to do as well i think that's a point where you, you need to stop your, the kids and to say, okay, go in to see what different people do. Yeah, I have some ideas for this place. I, yeah, because I'm just a few months here, I even didn't start to build this place and just uh, covered first layer of the uh, interior uh, just to feel good. But of course, I have big plans for this space and uh, I am trying to build a uh, small, cozy, home-style uh, tattoo space uh, that will be kind of social small hub with music and uh, this tattoo artist he's playing guitar and uh, we can play music together it's, it's fun, it's fun to have uh, people around you and it's great uh, it's profession. You see what other people do. You can discuss, you can make a research together. Also, it's very great to bring international tattoo artists, guest tattoo artists to the space to give them an opportunity to work here. And then you're going to the city and you work there. So you can't exchange between the studios. I like to work and I like to draw and I like tattooing. So uh, it took, answering quick to your question, it took six, seven years probably to go on this way. It's conversation uh, between uh, good and bad, uh, black and white, it's something that we can try to resolve uh, with no war. But at the same time you have attention, as you always have attention with something in this life, but uh, you can decide how this tension will be resolved, in which way. So it's kind of a little bit drama between those two cats and you don't know if they are going to fight or they are going to make a peace. <laughs>